Today, my friends, I'm going to be teaching you guys how to use Spam Bow Witch at Town Hall 11. Yes, it is a viable attack strategy you guys can be using right now at Town Hall 11. And it can work on those ring style bases. We've got two examples for you guys. One that's a ring base and one that isn't. But not just that, but we're going to be looking at my own Town Hall 13 Bow Witch attacks. And let's see if it's viable there. Let's go ahead and jump straight into it. So, Bow Witch at Town Hall 11. How is it viable and when should you use it and stuff like that? So, let's talk about the Bow Witch in general. For those of you who probably know what Bow Witch is, of course it's a strategy that begins at Town Hall 10. And you can now use it at Town Hall 11. Now, obviously, it has been very useful in terms of ring bases, which we, we will be looking at as our second example. But, if we're taking a look at a base that isn't a ring base then we've got two different options here. We've got the town hall towards the outside of the base right here, but not just that, but we also want to take a look at where these multi-inferno towers are. Now, you'll notice here is that it isn't the strongest town hall 11, but to be fair, this is obviously the last person in this war, so don't worry about that. But instead, kind of really take a look at the base design itself. So, when we're trying to look for a bow witch, what we want is we want to get down as many, or if we can get at least one multi inferno, then that's really good. We want our direction of our wall wrecker to go into where the multi inferno tower is rather than it going towards, let's say, um, let's say going towards the middle. We want to be able to open up the multi inferno specifically for the queen and the bowlers. Now, in this example, the bowlers start to go everywhere, so what you really want to do is be very, just be very patient with your funnel. You want to make sure that there is a solid funnel set, so that then you can actually send in your your uh, bowlers and your witches, and they move into the core. Now, some of the witches will obviously go out, that's actually a good thing, but the bowlers, you want them to stay in the core. Some of them will, some of them won't. But that's also why you're bringing bowlers within the wall wrecker. So that's just something to keep in mind when you guys are using the bow witch at town hall 11. Now, not just that, but you also have the grand warden. The grand warden is a, a very useful tool in terms of town hall 11 bow witch. The grand warden has his, not just his ability, but also his life aura that adds some extra health to troops and heroes around him. So this really offers a lot of great value when you enter into the base, especially when you're getting hit by that eagle. You want to do it at least, you want to you pop his ability, pop his eternal tome, around in the middle of the base. So when we watch this example, that's what we want to look for. We want to try and make sure that we are paying attention to that. Now, you'll, well, from what we can see, we have our witches and then our bowlers. This is a typical spam. But the thing is, is that you really want to try and make sure that you get as many of your bowlers to go in. So in this case, it's not going to be exactly. Two free spells are being used in this composition, which one was being used on the eagle in order to delay and also used on the multi to, you know, not do as much damage. But we've also got a heal and a rage, or two rages, or three rages, mind you. So one heal is going to specifically heal up any bowlers. The rage spells are going to be there to push the bowlers through the base. We've also got a jump. The jump is going to be useful to get them right through. We can also even use a quad quake, and this gives us a lot more value since that quad quake will be able to open up more. But you can see from this example is there's not too much about this attack. You really need to try though to get the multi infernos and the eagle as as quickly as possible. That's why you need to have your queen enter into the base. It's all right if you don't have your king going in. Like we can see from here, the king is actually tanking for the witches. But as long as we can have the queen go into the base with the wall wrecker, that's what we want with this attack. So rather than having the queen you know, staying on the outside, just walking on the outside, minding her own business. You got to make sure that she's taking out the multi inferno towers and also the eagle artillery so that then you get value from the base and you can three star with this. Now, this is just an example of an anti three star base design. Let's take a look at an anti two star base design to give you guys an idea of how to hit those type of bases. 
So here we go. We got another example, this time bringing in quad quake and jump. And this is typically going to be used on these anti two star bases. You can see that the town hall is in the center. So this gives you guys a really good way to stop those ring style base designs that you guys may see in war. If you guys see that, well, Bowitch is actually still a viable attack. But let's also think about how we want to be able to hit this. Of course, we see that there are single infernos. So different from the other one, which we did see double multis, this time we see double singles. Of course, this base isn't the best designed base. However, what we've also got to consider is how we're going to deal with the single infernos. Now, they aren't going to be so much of an issue than the multi infernos since multi infernos they will do they hit five units the because these ones only hit one we just have to make sure that we keep our uh, wall wrecker alive as it gets towards the eagle the and the town hall so that's what we want to also make sure that we're doing now on a ring style base it's going to be fairly easy to actually get your bowlers to move in so what we want to do is we want to have our entry point here so that then we're entering into, not into a flat, uh, onto a flat side, but we're entering into an area where we can funnel out really easy and get our bowlers right up into the core of the base. That's what we want, and that's what we want to be able to do in order to push our attack moving in. So that's specifically the main focus. That's why we have the giants to tank for the witches, and then for those witches and the skeletons to also have some support for the bowlers. So that then we can actually send everything out straight through. So it gives you guys a solid explanation in terms of the Bowitch on an anti-2. And let's watch it. Because this is really important. Since sometimes you guys will see where you guys will see these type of base designs. So it's good. It, there's a it's a good way to deal with these guys. Since sometimes it can be really difficult. You may not know what strategy to hit. Lalo, uh, Hogs. Maybe some of those don't look right. Especially with against a single Inferno. So, Bow Witch is a great option because of those skeletons, since they can distract the single Infernos really, really nicely. So, if we're taking a look at this, notice that here we have a funnel being set on both ends, allowing our bowlers to move into the core of the base. This now allows us to use our Grand Warden's ability to be able to deal with that, not just the CC, but also dealing with the in, uh, single Infernos. And you can see that also that the skeletons are still providing that support against those single infernos. The quad quake being used to open up one layer and then using a jump on the other layer, that is something that you guys could obviously try and do. Sometimes you may not want to bring an earthquake, but in this case, you probably could. So it's up to you if you want to spend more troop space on earthquake or if you want to spend a less uh, housing, I'm sorry, less housing space on spells on the uh, quad quake or if you guys want to use two jumps or maybe even bring another rage that's going to be up to you and your personal preference with this attack but another solid explanation and another solid way of you guys being able to use the bow witch against town hall 11 and anti two star so there are some definitely a little bit more variety and it gives you guys an option where you guys can hit any type of base design so, the next thing that we're going to be doing is we're going to be hopping into two live attacks with Bowitch at Town Hall 13 to hopefully get you guys into my mindset of attacking. With that being said, let's go ahead and jump straight into those live attacks. So here we go guys, we've got my army composition here, and you guys can either take this or whatever. I usually like to bring more bowlers in terms of this, just as, you know, with anything having more bowlers could obviously really provide a little bit more but feel free to copy this we're going to be trying to find a base and farming for it we're going to do this twice so then it gives you guys a solid opportunity to really try out and see if the bow which is viable at tunnel 13 and also just to see how i would attack so let's go ahead and jump into my explanation on the first attack all right, so this looks like a good base. So we have the town hall in the center. We also got the eagle in the center as well. So there are a couple things that we have to see. Um, we want to be able to set that funnel though. Hmm, it's gonna be difficult. Let's see. We don't want to hit towards the single, but there is a single there as well. So we might have to enter in from the elixir storage. Let's see. So 
I'm going to go ahead and drop in a few witches and a couple giants. Let's drop three there. And then let's drop three over here and a few more. Let's also drop in a couple bowlers on each side. Then let's go ahead and send in two here. Let's go three and then let's go the rest of the bowlers. and send in the wall wrecker, king, queen, warden, and also that. Should have our wall wrecker going in really nicely. I'm going to rage him up right here. Let's see what we're going to be able to do. Should be able to open up the compartment. Let's go ahead and pop the Grand Warden's ability. We should be able to take out that down that multi-inferno. Easy, looking good. Let's heal up through there. Let's rage them up. Okay, I think things the things are looking really good right now. Uh, let's go ahead and jump here. Let's freeze over this multi or freeze over that. Let's go ahead and pop the Royal Champion. That's looking really good right now. Uh, we lost a lot. We uh, our attack really thinned out. That sucks. But we just have our heroes left. So this isn't the most viable attack. You can see that it, you can still use it on certain base designs. But this probably isn't the attack to use on every single base design. But, eh, I mean, yeah. There is still one expo and one cannon there. We won't be able to get it. Kind of thins out right there. I really wanted to try and do that. So, I'm going to go into my attack and just show you guys specifically what I was sort of looking for in this. But, um... I don't know, it didn't really go to plan here. That sucks. It was a good attempt, but I just don't think Bowitch is as reliable as you may think. But, uh, man, that sucks. So, we're actually going to move on the next example that we have here for you guys. Alright, so we're going to be hitting this base design right here. A little bit more of a Town Hall 11-esque. Obviously not a max base, but it is active. So, let's see if we can be able to hit this. I could fail on this. We will see, but... My idea and my approach is probably because that multi-inferno is out, we're going to go towards that direction. We're going to take uh, take advantage of that. But what we're going to do is let's go ahead and attack from this side. I'm going to drop in just a few witches here. And then we'll drop in a few giants. And we'll do the same thing on the other side. So then this gives us a little bit more of a solid funnel. So let's see what we can do. I'm going to drop two of them here. The rest of the witches, and then the, the wall wrecker, king, queen. Let's make sure that we are creating that funnel. Send that in, and we'll send the royal champion along with that. Now let's go ahead and start sending in our bowlers. I'm really hoping if we can get something. Ooh, a lot of those bowlers are moving towards the outside. Shoot, I did not want them to move onto the outside. That does really suck. All right, we're gonna have to keep everything healed up here. All right, I'm going to pop my Grand Warren's ability. We're going to have to jump right here to deal with that. Um, yeah, I... <sighs> my bowlers are stupid. Let's see what we can do. I'm going to pop my Royal Champion's ability. Let's freeze over this... Over that single. Let's see what we can do. Okay, what's good is that we aren't taking as much fire... Ah, oh, man, it just sucks that a lot of our bowlers went towards the outside. Of course that was going to happen, especially with an attack like this. Uh, we might be able to get it. I think we have a, a solid amount of units still. Pop our queen's ability there, get her through the wall. Let's freeze up this area here. We still have our barbs and stuff, so I'm not sure how this is going to go down. But let's see. Um, what should we rage up? Oh, the... Yeah, he's the Warden's going to take out the single. There we go. Don't even have to use the Rage. So it kind of went wrong just a little bit, but I think that's a sol I think that was a solid approach on this base design. So, like, yeah, that was pretty good. I mean, that, guys, that's going to do it for the video. Hopefully you guys did enjoy, and hopefully you guys did learn something from this, seeing my live attack, seeing one fail and one triple. Hopefully that gets you guys into the understanding. It might not work at Town Hall 13, but it will work at Town Hall 11. So, thank you guys so much for being here. If you guys did enjoy, leave a like, subscribe, and turn on the notification bell so you guys don't miss anything. Also, let me know in the comments below if you guys want to see more live attacks, and I'll be bringing it out to you guys. 
Hopefully you guys want to see another, either another Bow Witch or let me know what strategy you guys want to see next at Town Hall 11 and I'll be bringing it again. Well, I'll be bringing another one. So with that being said, also feel free to follow me on Twitter, Instagram, or join my community Discord. All links are in the description and feel free to join any of the clans that I cover also in the description below. With that being said, that's going to do it guys for the video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed and I'll be seeing you guys next time. Corrupt, signing out.